YouTubers, SSG here. How's everybody doing today? Well, another day in searching through a box of $25 worth of pennies. But come to my delight, I have stumbled onto quite a few copper cents and a few varieties that I thought I'd just share with you that I thought I found very interesting to be in circulated condition. So right now, right in front of you, I found a 1928 Lincoln cent. Yes, 1928 Lincoln cent in circulated condition. And I was kind of happy to see that this was here, you know, so. But uh, you can see from the uh, coin itself for being a 1928, it doesn't seem to be in that bad of condition. All the fine details are still there. Liberty and God, we trust the date on the obverse. And we'll go ahead and turn it around onto the uh, reverse. And let's see how the back of it looks so that way we can see how the wheat's looking it. There we go. So you can tell that the wheats are still there. You know, not bad, you know, this is probably going to be an AU condition, you know, so, but I'm not a professional grader, so I don't know, but I would say uh, it would be in a brown level, so let me show you what else I have got for you. I found a next penny here, which is a 1941 circulated condition. And uh, you could see that the uh, Liberty and God We Trust is still visible with the date still visible except for the one being slightly diminished on the uh, verse here. We'll go ahead and turn it around to the reverse. And let's see how the wheats look on this. Well, you can see that the wheats are still defining there. Looks pretty good, you know, for being a 1941, you know, brown. Look what else I got in here. Let's see what I want else I want to share with you in here. Going on the next one here, which is... Now this, this particular Lincoln scent had me curious here because I'm assuming that this might be a 1946S. But, as you can see, in the words, in God we trust, the trust portion of the Lincoln scent has diminished significantly, or it was a planchet error where that it was not struck correctly. Also on the date, you can see that the 1946S, the 46th portion of it, is slightly diminished as well. Let's turn around and see what we got on the reverse. Well, as you can see, the wheat still look pretty good in there, you know, not too bad for a 1946S, you know, so that was kind of a nice surprise for me to find in circulated condition here. Moving on to the next coin here, I got a 1944 war scent. Uh, this is, looks to be as a copper scent. Uh, not in pristine condition, but for a circulated condition, you can still see all the fine details as in with it is the obverse there. Let's turn it over to the reverse and see how the wheats look on this side. Uh, yeah, it's a little choppy there, you know, so, but, you know, it is quite of an old coin, you know, to be in circulation, you know, with a bunch of pennies, you know, so can't expect it to be, you know, super jam, you know. <laughs> so it's not like it came in a special mint set, you know, where that all the fine details are raw, you know. So, but to be in circulation, I think it's a great coin to have. The next coin I'm going to show you is going to be the same year, which really gave me a surprise for being the year that it is and in the condition that it is. This coin is the 1944 Lincoln Scent Denver Mint. I'm assuming that this may be a Lincoln Scent 
in a brown red or a red brown but I, I would say brown red because the brown is overpowering the red so I'm gonna say brown red but as you can see all the details are really still there finding this coin in circulated condition with a bunch of pennies was a shock to me and to still be in this condition let's turn it over to the reverse and see what else we got let's see how those wheats look on this coin here oh my god look at that look at those wheats on a 1944 in circulation coin to be found all the details are fine and raw there man it is beautiful just beautiful for a coin to be in you know a bunch of pennies that I found you know I think this is a great coin to be fine in circulation let me show you the next coin that I found to be interesting in my little find here we find here now the 1947 Lincoln cent I'm assuming that it may be a Denver mint all the fine details are still there I would say this is a definitely brown condition let's turn it over to the reverse and let's see how the wheats look on this particular guy right here oh here we go we got the wheats looking there not too bad not too shabby you know but what do you expect I found it in circulation you know can't help it you know that it's in circulation you know but it is a great find to find in circulation next coin let me show you what else I got here this coin is a 1916 Lincoln cent I was really happy to find this one yes it may not be a MS condition but to be in circulated condition I thought it was a great find you can also see that in the words in God we trust the trust portion of it is slightly fainted in it let's turn it around to the reverse and see what else we can see on the wheats well I mean for 1916 you know it's not an MS condition you know so but it is a great find you know the wheats are still present the lettering is still present you know but the rim seems to be a little choppy you know but it is a very old coin to find and I'm happy with it next coin I'm going to present to you is this 1983 Lincoln cent I found in circulation I think it looks really good for being in circulated condition all the details are there and God we trust Liberty the date and the Denver mint is there turn it around to the reverse and let's see how it looks definitely looks really nice I'm gonna say this is a a red condition all the details are there in United States of America you know e, you know Philip bus you know the building structure is a beautiful tech the uh, full steps are there and the one step portion seems to be in great condition I find this a great find in circulated condition next coin I'm going to present to you is this 1960 can you believe it a 1960 60 pardon me in circulated condition <coughs> sorry in circulated condition all the details are there in God we trust Liberty and the date you can say this is a red you know condition here the date is fully featured very well I'm just gonna turn it over to the reverse and let's see how it looks on the reverse okay so on the reverse everything looks to be very well and defined I see no issues there issues there you know um, just a red condition you know I can't tell you if it's MS condition or not you know being for a coin of 1960 I'm not a professional grader but if you guys can give me your professional opinion those who know of grading please share your comments on that next coin is this 1962 Denver Lincoln cent that I found in circulation you can see that the in God we trust is fully defined in Liberty is defined 
and the 1962 Denver mint portion of it is defined really nice great to have a coin like this in circulation that I found turn it over to the reverse let's see how it looks okay as you can see all the features are fully there pretty raw no no damage you know everything looks good you know red you know I think it's a great coin for the year that it is to find in circulation next coin I'm going to present to you look at that isn't that beautiful a 1963 Denver Lincoln cent in circulation and a box of $25 worth of pennies yes I found this bad boy in a box of $25 worth of pennies you can still see that the in God we trust is fully defined the word Liberty the Lincoln character himself is fully defined and the date as well as long as with the mint I would say this is a red let me turn it over to the reverse oh my god look at that's so beautiful look how beautiful that coin looks man shiny the sheen is great on it you know the, the, the mint lettering is perfect you know the building structure is perfect I find this to be in an MS condition in red now my next coin I'm gonna feature to you maybe you know out of our kind of uh, my at least my kind of uh, collection is uh, from a uh, uh, from Canada and uh, I found this one here let's see let me get this in here for you right here okay so we have a Queen Elizabeth here on this uh, copper scent here uh, you can see everything is defined very well featured you know I would say this is a red and I'll go ahead and turn it to the reverse and show you the reverse look at that 2004 one cent and uh, I think everything looks pretty good in it I think there's slight rim damage on it you know but you know I think for the year that it is I think to find in circulation it looks pretty good next coin is going to be another Queen Elizabeth the second <clears throat> penny here <clears throat> and uh, I think for the year that it is I think you know we can say it's safe to be called brown uh, all the defines are there the features are are very well defined in there you know so I'll go ahead and show you from the adverse to the reverse how this penny looks look at that folks 1969 1969 in circulation I found this penny in circulation look at the features the features seem to be very well it's not even really that scratched like from other coins or anything I find this to be a great find you know for you know you know for Queen Elizabeth scent here and that's all I got today youtubers I know this video was super long but I had to share with you just a few of the varieties that I found in a full box and that isn't even half of the stuff that I have I just wanted to share with you guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel leave a like and as always SSG and I'm out